Hey guys, it's JM. I have a special sneak peek for you today. The Chia team will be releasing very shortly a version of the client that actually has integrated support for the different third-party plotters, Mad Max and Blabit, into the actual Chia GUI in command line after the official build. So this is very exciting. So now people don't have to go hunt down all these GitHub repositories and building from scratch uh, for all these <laughs> different kind of plotters. Uh, most people today are using Mad Max to do plotting because it's really the best plotter out there for like kind of low to mid end systems. Um, you know, it doesn't scale very well above like, we'll say eight to 12 cores. You'd have to start running, uh, you know, multiple processes to, to get the CPU utilization up. But uh, in Bladebit, of course, is the fastest plotter that is out there for Chia, but it, it's all in memory and all in DRAM. So you need a lot of DRAM, you need 416 gigabytes of DRAM to run it. So it's, it's really only applicable for people with servers. But, uh, so, you know, Mad Max is kind of the most common today for most of the uh, people doing the plotting. So uh, this is really exciting because now that they're going to be building that into the actual tool, uh, it'll be much easier to for everybody to use. Uh, so remember, this is a beta build. Please, please, please test it. If you find bugs, notify the Chia team. Uh, you know the official release, which is hopefully bug free, will be out uh, in a couple weeks. So if you go to the Chia website and uh, click on Install Chia Blockchain, you can scroll down here and you can see there is something that says the latest beta. Now, this is uh, basically built off the main branch. And so if anything gets into the main branch, it gets published here to the beta. Uh, the Chia team did this now to basically um, make it so if somebody is seeing an issue, they don't have to have an emergency release if there's a small amount of people, you know, because after you release software to hundreds of thousands of farmers, inevitably somebody will find a bug. Uh, so instead of just shoving out another release, you know, people can go get the beta build. Um, but that being said, it doesn't have the fully hardened testing and um, that has uh, the official releases. So you, generally, I would not recommend getting the beta build unless you are seeing some sort of issue. But in this case, if you want to beta test the new plotters, uh, go ahead and download it. So I'm going to go ahead and download this for Windows right here. So now that we have the new beta build installed, and if you, where is it? About Chia Blockchain, you can see this is uh, a beta build. You know, this is not the standard release, 1136. Uh, okay, so we are going to go into plots and we're going to add a plot. And now you will see that there's a drop down of the different plotters. So the Chia Proof of Space is the old plotter, the, the standard plotter. Um, again, does all the case sizes. Um, now, Mad Max actually does now integrate support for K equals 33 and K equals 34. Uh, but Chia Proof of Space kind of does everything. Uh, it's not the fastest plotter, but it was the one that. Um, is the most tested. Now, Bladebit is the plotter. It's going to tell you I can't install this because I need 416 gigabytes of RAM. Obviously, it's the in-memory plotter. So not good for a desktop, great for servers. Uh, and then Mad Max, which was what we're going to use today. So Mad Max, uh, now again, Chia is actually integrating the Mad Max build and they have it, their own branch of, of Mad Max. They'll be pulling from Mad Max to make sure that, uh, you know, nothing crazy gets in the builds. Um, you know, if you're compiling source or downloading, you know, EXEs from random sites, that's generally not good practice. So uh, we do have it open sourced in the GitHub and you guys can check out what, what we're building. So now the plot size, you can see uh, Mad Max supports K equals 32, 33, or 34. So we're going to do a K equals 32 plot count. Um, in Mad Max, typically you want to set the number of threads equal to the number of CPU cores. Uh, I'm on an eight core system. Uh, the number of buckets, the default 256, I think is a good default. If you increase the bucket size, then that reduces the DRAM requirements uh, and it increases the IO on the disk, which if you have a fast SSD, is probably okay. Most of the SSDs I test do very fine with 256 or 512. Uh, and you can play around if you have, uh, if you want to ultimately tweak and get the best plot times, you can kind of tune, you can have a different number of bucket counts for phase three and phase four versus phase one. So, um, yeah. Okay. And now if you want to put a farmer public key or pool public key in there, you could. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're plotting for a friend or something, but you know, what we're going to do is plot, I have a, an NFT. This is a pool, cool pool capable plot. So if you have that, you just select that down here and you'll be able to, uh, make a pool plot and it'll default to the farmer key, which is whatever wallet you're on is the first farmer key. It'll default as the, what you're plotting to. 
Um, the temporary directory, you know, obviously, I would not recommend uh, generally you know, plotting to your boot drive, but uh, was, I only have one drive in the system right now, so I'm just going to do a test here. Uh, and then my final directory, you know, I'm just going to do a test here and put it on my desktop because uh, I will probably just delete this, this plot right after I'm done, but that's it. So now it's plotting away and you can see here in the GUI, it just starts the, the plot and it's running a full Mad Max. If you want to view the log here, you can view the log um, and it, you'll find out what's going on. Um, if I kind of open up my task manager here, you'll see my, uh, my OBS is, is struggling because it's going to ramp this thing up to hopefully 100% CPU here soon. And uh, this is, I'm plotting on a Corsair MP600 Pro. You can see it's you know, kind of writing up. And then you can't see, there we go. Uh, you know, writing at 700 megabytes a second. So there we go. So Mad Max, super easy way to do plots uh, from the Windows GUI now. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. And so again, if, um, yeah, I'll let this finish and uh, come back and check on it here in a sec. But uh, yeah, again, please help us beta test this. If you see um, any issues, contact the Chia team. But uh, this is really, really slick, and this is going to save me a ton of time helping friends and family do plotting because this makes it so, so much faster and easier for, for so many people. So special thanks and shout out to the, the Chia team that made this possible, all the developers that put this together. Uh, I, of course, have just been helping them stress test it and uh, do some benchmarking, of course, but uh, they've done all the hard work. So thank you guys. Bye-bye.